Yo, what it do, my people? Jay Jones in the building, and before we get into today's video, I want to give a big thank you to SeatGeek for showing love to the channel. As mentioned before, SeatGeek is your one-stop ticket shop. Any tickets you need, whether that's to a baseball game, any concert, don't forget we have NBA Summer League coming up as well, so if you out there in one of those locations, you can get tickets. Any event you're trying to go to, SeatGeek got you covered. All you gotta do is hit SeatGeek up by downloading the app, Put in my code J Jones to get $20 off your purchase and you're golden. So yeah, man, y'all go check that out for me. There will be a link in the description. But other than that, let's get into this video. Yo, what it do? Yo, what it do, French? Nah, nah, nah. Front St. Jones in the building, yo. Front St. Jones in the building. I'm actually in Paris. Let me say a couple of things. This, this is gonna be all, this intro is gonna be all over the place. Before I could just lay down, get some rest, I don't know if you can see my eyes, man. My eyes real red, I'm really tired, but I just wanna say thank y'all, man. Like, thank y'all for those who continue to support me, bro. Like, yo, it goes a long way. And it's really, it's really, 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 really important to support each other for reasons like this. Like, fun fact, when I was in high school, I used to study French. And I remember telling my, my high school teacher that I was going to visit one day. And I always thought it would be like on some study abroad type stuff. Like, I'll get to Paris and just visit that way. I've been wanting to come to Paris since 9th, 10th grade. That's like 10 years for me, yo. Since 9th, 10th grade. Miss Duncan, shouts to Miss Duncan, man. I wish she could see this. Miss Duncan, that was my French teacher, yo. But I say that to say, I would have never in my wildest dreams thought I would be here because of like sneakers. My whole career was just kind of mapped out at a young age, like with the engineering, studying the broad, you know, that type of route. And there's nothing wrong with that. But you know, just having the passion and still trying to make things happen. Like none of that is possible without you guys. Like you guys have been showing tremendous support with everything I do and, and that's why this is happening. It's no other reason why this is happening. Like my numbers, it don't even make sense for me to be out here right now. My YouTube numbers aren't that great. Instagram numbers, not crazy. They're up and down. It's just because of y'all, man, and the positivity that you guys bring and the stuff that we do together. It's not even just because of me, so. I just kind of want to say thank you, man. Get that off my chest. But I'm just really, really excited, man. Thank y'all so much for just believing in the kid. And I'm hoping we can just continue to grow and just do great things. But yeah, let me show y'all what this, what this, what this room is looking like, yo. Welcome to Paris. All right, so when I walked in, first of all, this hoodie, the quality on this hoodie is so crazy. Look at the price on that joint. I would have never bought this. This would be one of those items where I would just be like, yo, this is so clean, and I never would have purchased it. We got some shirts in here. Boy, this is so tough. Ooh. We're supposed to be having a dinner at 3, 3.30, 4 o'clock. I'm gonna take a nap. I didn't sleep much on the plane at all. I was watching a lot of movies. I just couldn't sleep. I'm really excited to show you guys this entire experience. Like, it's gonna be crazy. We got a lot of events. We might do some hooping tomorrow and some training. They said, you know, y'all know I haven't, I ain't been in the gym working on my game like that, so. Okay. Hey, I'm in Paris, yo. Thank you guys. I love y'all for sure. And uh, I'll see y'all in a bit. Like great junior essentials. And that's really the foundation of our business. Whether you talk about a Jordan hoodie, a great Jordan short, t-shirts, track suits, warm-ups, or outerwear, we wanted to make those and elevate those at a high level. Look, man, you step in here, you get uh, champagne immediately. Now, I don't drink, but uh, it looks cool. Let me show y'all some gear real quick, though. Yo, so one thing to keep in mind is that uh, it is fashion week. A lot of stuff that I can't rock personally, but a lot of dope gear nonetheless. Let's check out the first one. So I figured I would, you know, pick up here and start narrating just to give you guys more details on what's happening. So this first round of stuff that you may see was based off the K54 event. Jordan Brand was looking to kind of inspire a lot of the people in this community and they wanted to match that with specific clothing and shoes that they created for the event. And this is where Jordan Brand is taking 
a more serious, high quality like approach. I mean, just listening to the conversations that were had, this was one of the key things that the brand wanted to change. They wanted to come with a more quality like approach for the future. And I feel like that was done here. And after having the opportunity to kind of visit each room and see where the direction of the brand is headed, something amazing happened. Pretty much just continued to enjoy my time there. I saw Russ, I saw Maya Moore, and I even spoke with Jason Tatum and Blake Griffin for a bit as well. Here's how that went. Do you feel any, um, I guess, additional pressure to be great now that, that you're on your brand side? Um, not additional pressure. Um, you know, nobody has higher expectations for me than myself, but I am very honored to be representing the can we expect any other collaborations just outside of the sneaker uh, clothing year as well? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about you know, just being able to explore all those different ideas. Um, this is like my first time being with you know, Jordan Brand you know, today. So um, you know, we have a lot of exciting things coming ahead. Any thoughts on Space Jam 2? I haven't heard of anything about it, so <laughs> I'm assuming that um, <laughs> that's not going to be a thing for me. Um, but, you know, excited to see it, excited to see, uh, you know, what those guys do with that movie. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really, really, it's a special movie to me. Mm -hmm. I had like a Space Jam themed birthday party um, when I was a kid. And um, not really themed, I just, had, I just rented the movie and we watched it. <laughs> there, was not, there was no themes in my family, it was just like, you know. Um, so, I don't know, man, they better not mess it up. Alright, so we pretty much just left the Jordan brand event. Uh, we're gonna have to go to another event tomorrow. Right now, I think we're headed to get food. That was cool, man. You know, we got the opportunity to talk to Jason Tatum, Blake Griffin. Uh, they said another group got to talk to Westbrook. I saw Westbrook as he was walking out. That man look a cool 6'5 to me. To me, solid too. We ain't in the stage right now, so I ain't gonna say much about OKC. I'm just focused on Fashion Week. We finna get back on the bus, go grab some meat, and uh, then we'll go from there. Yo, good morning, my people. It is day two in Paris. It's really, really early. Uh, some of you guys know, but I'm not really a morning person. I'm more of a 9, 30, 10 type of guy, and it's 8 o'clock a.m. I know we have at least two to three Jordan brand events that we're going to hit today. The first thing we're doing is uh, we're training, and I think we're training with Blake Griffin. Now, don't quote me on that because it could be somebody else. I'm going to try them all, see what they feel like. See what they talking about. Grab a little breakfast and then hit this training session. So, see you guys in a bit. So as soon as we hit the facility, the workout started. And this whole workout is inspired behind the Jordan Trunner NXT, which is Jordan's new training shoe for the brand. Blake Griffin was actually there. He had the trainer on as well. He was just kind of talking to us about his involvement with the brand and just kind of giving us brief thoughts on the shoe. The brand was giving us a chance to test the shoe in multiple ways, starting with the running and then a little basketball to finish things up. That is a wrap for the first event. Uh, again, it was just a training session. Do a little hooping. Like I said, Blake Griffin came through. Yeah, we're gonna move on to the next event. I think we have downtime until like three. I need some food. So uh, yeah, let's get it. I then found this amazing bakery. Like they literally had anything and everything you can think of. Parfaits, donuts, everything smelled 
amazing. This was like my main spot over the trip. Like I kept going in there, like the food was, was so good. After that, we went to the K54 court where they had the dunk contest. Barbosa was out there playing and you know, it was just a great experience. Again, all the gear was out there to match like the whole K54 theme and everything was just set up really nicely. And that is a wrap. Thank you so much, Jordan Brand, for you know giving the kid this opportunity, man. Again, I would have never guessed that I would be in Paris for this reason. I've had such a great, such a great time. Like the people that I've met, the connections that were developed, like everything was just great. It was a great trip overall. Thank you again for giving me this opportunity because it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been done. Like I had to rush to get the passport and and all that. So Paris, yo. I gotta come back, I gotta come back. I saw a couple of people out here too. Like I wish I could have had somebody recording so you guys could just really get the full experience because it was just go, go, go. And I was trying my best to, you know, do what I can for the vlog, but like everything that they put together was just really, really well planned, really thought out. And you know, it, it was just dope, man, it was just dope. So again, thank you guys so much. Hopefully we can do something in the future, man. And uh, until then, I'm out.